Hi there, Adam here. This month's XDA Developers TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win your piece of over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. NFC National Fighting Championship. A lot of devices today, including the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Nexus, are shipping with something called NFC, or Near Field Communication. So today we're going to talk about pro tip number six, using NFC effectively. NFC tags come in a variety of shapes and sizes. I purchased these on eBay for about a dollar a piece. These little tiny things can hold up to about a kilobyte of data almost. Not quite. There's two basic ways to use NFC tags. The first way is to use the tag ID that's built into each tag, like a serial number. And when you pass the tag over the device, it sends a serial number over and an application can read that and use that tag to perform an action. Now using the tag ID, we can run an application which handles reading data from the tag and scripting an event on the device. Watch what happens when I pass over this tag. I have scripted this tag to take my device to New Orleans. So it'll take a minute, but it will eventually uh, load up map navigation directions to New Orleans. And as you can see, we're routing. Head southeast. And I've scripted this tag to change the brightness from minimum to automatic. And as you can see, it got much brighter. Now to script these events for this video, I'm using a program called NFC Retag, which only gives you a certain amount of tries before you have to buy the pro version. So I'm still looking for a better program. If you have any ideas, please mention it in the comments down below. Now in this next method, I'm going to write data to the tag, and I'm using NXP Writer and we can hit the create and write button and I'll go ahead and select XDA developers as the site I would like to write we'll hit the next button and then place the device over and it stored the data successfully now we can prove that this worked by going to the home screen and then passing our device over that again and if all worked correctly we should be at going to XDA developers now there's several other uses for these tags such as uh, storing contact information or plain text or sending scripted messages. You can also put one of these in your car to provide a good way to say, hey honey, I'm coming home. But you're limited to the size of storage space which is usually anywhere between the size of 2 to 20 Twitter messages. Well now you may be wondering how do these things get power? Well, it uses the same technology found inside of these wall warp transformers. Let me explain a little bit. The way a transformer works is by converting electricity to magnetism and then back to electricity. You see a current flows through one coil, which causes it to become magnetic, and then in the other coil, it ends up doing the same thing and causing electrons to flow. You see, that's very similar to the way the NFC in a phone works. You have a coil here that's powered and it's sending out magnetism and then here you have another coil which when it gets close enough to be affected by the magnetic waves it then induces a current inside of here which then turns on a microchip inside of here and sends information over to the phone and you end up with data transmission so I'm gonna go visit the XDA forums and that's all for this episode don't forget to add me to your circles on Google Plus and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, hack on.